Okay guys, so in order to use Ableton, we need to install it on our computer. So you can see right now I'm on the Ableton uh, website, so it's just ableton.com. And you can see right up here in the right hand corner, it's try live for free. You can click on that. You can go ahead and select whether you're using Windows or um, Mac and 64-bit or 32-bit. Uh, Google that if you don't know what 32-bit is or 64-bit is. Go ahead and download that. Uh, installing Ableton is really easy. Just install it wherever it kind of suggests to, to be installed. Um, and then once you've got that sorted, go ahead and open it up. And you'll be looking at a screen that looks just like this. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to minimize this. And we're going to go to our desktop. And we're going to create a folder for all of our Ableton files. Now, obviously, you can do it wherever you want, but I'll do it on the desktop, put it wherever is suitable for you. But I'm going to show my desktop. I'm going to right-click, new folder. I'm going to name this folder my Ableton resource folder. Um, so that is there. So you can see I've already got one on here because that's where all my stuff is saved to. Um, but I'm going to recreate this just for the sake of the video. So if I double click on that and I open that dude up, I can right click and I can go new folder and I'm going to call this um, Ableton project folder. Cool. So whenever I'm in Ableton and I'm going to go file and save. Uh, so let's say save live set. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to navigate to my Ableton resource folder, which is on my desktop here. Double click on that. I'm going to go inside here and I'm going to name that tutorial. And then I'll go save. And then let's just do it. So save. We'll come back over here. We'll open up that folder. Boom. Tutorial project. Double click that. And there's my ALS file. And that'll be what will open up my project again if I chose to close that. So next, we'll come back to the main folder. Uh, where we've got our Ableton project folder. We'll right click, we'll go new folder, and we'll call this one samples. Cool. So that's where we'd put all our fancy kick drums or synth lines or whatever else we wanted to have. Uh, we can make another folder that was, let's say, presets. So if we make some Ableton devices, which we'll do in the future, and then we want to save those Ableton devices, we'll put them there. Um, and then finally, let's do one for... Um, uh, exported tracks. So let's say we go back into Ableton and we want to export our amazing track. We could go down here, export. So what, what export track means is basically, yeah, once we've got a finished piece of music or we've got a bunch of different um, elements that we, we want to now take from Ableton and turn it into an audio file, we can click on export. And then we can select what we're going to render. So in this case, we're going to render anything that's going to the master um, for a certain amount of length, which is dictated here. And then we can go export. And that export, we can go to desktop, resource folder, and we can go export of tracks. And I'll say my best tune. And then I can go save and it'll export it in there. And then I'll be able to open that up. And I'll be able to open it up in Windows Media Player or whatever sort of... Um, music player software I wanted to use. So that is getting Ableton sorted up, uh, set up and also getting ourselves slightly organized. Just one more thing that I want to touch on actually before I end this video. We can go add folder here. So inside of Ableton, now we're going to go over the interface, so don't panic. But right now, what we're going to be looking at is this part, which is the browser. We can go add folder here and we can actually grab that folder and we can go OK and we can add it here. OK, so if I click on that, you can see all of those folders that I just made are sitting in here. So if I click on that arrow, it's going to show me what's inside the Ableton project folder. Boom, tutorial project. There it is. And then obviously if I had anything in presets or samples, it would all show up in there as well. So now we have got easy access to anything that we have in there. Um, you can also set it up. So if you've got music on your computer, you could select your music folder. So if I want to grab some trance, I can go boom. And I can pull that straight into Ableton. And here I have that track that's just come straight in. Cool. So that is everything for this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to support my channel, 
consider subscribing on YouTube, following on Facebook. Alternatively, if you'd like to support me financially, jump over onto Patreon and become a patron, or donate via PayPal. And don't forget, starting a new endeavor such as learning Ableton and electronic music production can be extremely overwhelming. So take things day by day and believe in yourself. Thank you.